Don't let a game define who you are. Let the way you live your lives do that. Uh, if you don't know, you can see Jesse on shows like Hannah Montana, <laughs> Numbers, uh, The Mentalist, Criminal Minds, Level Up, mm -hmm. and uh, the upcoming film, When the Game Stands Tall. Something that I personally enjoyed working with this young man on. All right, so straight to it, man. Mm -hmm. um, tell everybody what I mean when I say there's no shortcuts. Um, you know, you no matter who you are or what you're trying to do, you, you got to put in work. You know, everybody knows that. It's like trying to be a doctor, you go to school, you know what I mean? Ain't no way around it. You ain't going to get hired if you don't put the work in. And that's, I mean, when you're looking at longevity in this game, it's the same thing. You know, you got to go to your classes. You got to learn the art. You can't just pick it up. I mean, sure, a lot of people are really natural, you know, and they have that natural ability, but it still has to be fine-tuned in order for it to work in this industry. There's no way around it. So you got you to gotta put the work in. You got to do the small roles as a work your way up to the big roles. You'll never really be comfortable. I hear that a lot from people who jump into the deep end and some of them drown. So, you yeah. know, you don't, you don't want that. <laughs> you come from a very, very talented family. I had the pleasure of meeting your dad a moment Thanks. ago, <laughs> uh, your sister a little bit earlier. What was it like uh, when you first said in your household, I want to act? Um, growing up, you know, with my sis who actually was an actress before I was an actor and she, you know, she was doing the whole entertainment thing before me, I was just kicking rocks. Um, I kind of just <laughs> slid in like under her and kind of like followed her wave into this whole, this whole industry. But um, I never really sat my mom and dad down and was like, I want to act. I kind of just did little stuff here and there like when it came up because you know in Maryland the industry is not that's where I grew up with in Maryland the industry is not that big in Maryland anyway so like when something comes up it's rare and it's you know it's like oh yeah I'd love to do a commercial now or you know let's go to work on this stage play like that kind of thing and um, uh, when I got to be about 13 is when I sat him down and was like I don't want to act and that was the you know that was the moment the big moment but um, as far as telling them that I did want to it kind of just happened like I never really made a, a move towards that goal, you know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of people may not know, but you are probably the best worst dancer that I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. Yo, man, I think you're hating on me a little bit. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not hating. You have tremendous, like, rhythmic ability. Okay. But... The combination of the moves that you do don't quite match the beat, so <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> My question would be, uh -huh. what is your favorite type of music? Um, I love R&B music. I love R&B from the '90s. Um, I mean, I'm also like, a huge hip hop fan too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, I love hip hop. Um, I grew up in a household where. My mom only played like rock and roll or Celine Dion, so like that's in that's in my soul too. I know she, it was Prince or Celine Dion. That's like what that was her thing. So both of those is like deep in my, in my <laughs> they run through my veins. So uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm well rounded when it comes to music. <laughs> you feel me? What is the weirdest thing you've ever done in an audition, or to prepare for Ooh. an audition? Um, weirdest thing was prepping for like this testing I did for a show called All of That on Nickelodeon. That was that was probably the weirdest thing just because it was strange characters, you know, the, the audition was kind of, I don't know, it was weird. They had us do it on like a big stage and it was only like four people in the audience. It was, that felt the weirdest. I mean, I'm sure I've done some weirder stuff before too, so <laughs> that ain't even coming to me right now. <laughs> but uh, I would love to find that demo reel. <laughs> yeah, you and me both so I can burn that demo reel. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever find yourself getting nervous before you go in and deliver or do a tape? Yeah, I do. I do get nervous. Um, Sometimes, you know, like even being out shooting this movie when the game stands tall, I get nervous. Like when you, you're doing a, a big scene and all the pressure's on you, you know you got heads like Jim Caviezel, Michael Chiklis, who's, you know, watching. It, you, you get nervous a little bit, but, you know, you got to just shake it off and trust yourself, know that you, you got it. You know what I mean? You booked a role, so you're doing something right, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm hoping. <laughs> 
for the people out there, mm -hmm. what can they expect? I know what to expect, but what can <laughs> they expect from when the game stands tall? You you're gonna get some heavy, heavy emotion from this one right here with uh you know, if you're a football fan, you're gonna love it. The football is real. You you not, you ain't gonna get no realer than that. We got people breaking arms and hands and tearing hamstrings, all kind of stuff out there. I mean, it's it's a well put together flick, that's for sure. And everybody's got their their heart and souls in it. So I mean, you gonna expect a lot. Of, you know, you can expect a lot of passion. It's just gonna come through the screen. Everybody's gonna be able to feel that. So yeah, you can expect that. Best way I've heard it put is it's gonna sell a lot of diapers. <laughs> I don't even want to know who said that one. <laughs> Alright y'all, I'm Jesse T. Usher. You can go ahead and holler at me on Instagram and Twitter at the underscore Jesse T. J-E-S-S-I-E-T. -S -S -E so go ahead and hit me up, you know what I mean? I follow back sometimes because I'm cute you are. And make sure you check out his movie When the Game Stands Tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tayshawn all day. Tayshawn Lanier. When the Game Stands Tall coming out next year, right around football season. You know, keep an eye out. Alright. Thank you again, man. All right, Jay. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs>